So hello friends, we are starting a very, very important topic as fictional death. Now, first question comes in exam. What is the meaning of asphyxia? If you see, the meaning of asphyxia is lack of oxygen. Or if your oxygen supply is stopped. If your oxygen supply is stopped, this is asphyxia. But sir, the word meaning is asphyxia. That's question comes in exam. This is pulselessness. This is pulselessness. The word is pulselessness. The word meaning is this. Now, if you get a question, what is a classical triad of asphyxia? I am just giving you a hint. The classical triad of asphyxia is CPC. CPC. What is CPC? C for first C is cyanosis. Everyone knows the cyanosis color is blue. When do we see the cyanosis? If the deoxyhemoglobin that reaches up to 5 gram percentage, reduced hemoglobin or deoxyhemoglobin that reaches more than 5 gram percentage, then you can see the feature of cyanosis. And also this cyanosis, this bluish color is a peripheral cyanosis. It is a peripheral cyanosis. It is seen in your nail bed. Yes, my dear friend. Nail bed, nose, ear lobules, ear lobules, lips. So, so this peripheral cyanosis is the first C. Again, I am telling you, what is a classical triad? It is CPC. What is first C? Cyanosis. It is a blue coloration or discoloration of the peripheral part especially nose, ear lobule and nail bed. This is the first C. First C is done. Now the second is P. First C is done. Now second is P. What is P, my dear friend? It is P for petechial hemorrhages. Friends, if the size of hemorrhage, it is 0 0.1 to 2 mm. That is a, that is a pinpoint hemorrhage. This is known as petechi. And if size is more than 2 mm, this is known as echimosis. So this is the size. But generally, we see the petechial size, that is a pinpoint hemorrhages. Petechial hemorrhages. And also, this question comes in exam. What is the size 0 0.1 to 2 mm? It is a petechial and if it is more than 2 mm, it is echimosis. Now, it is due to involvement of capillary and rupture. Actually, what happens? Capillary and venule rupture, that is a damage. Because whenever oxygen supply is lacking, there is a damage of capillary and venule. Of which side? Eyelid, conjunctiva, skin, mucous membrane and visceral. Either visceral pleura or visceral peritoneum visceral pleura and visceral peritoneum. This is petechial hemorrhage. Because what happens? Oxygen is lacking. Damage of the capillary and venules. Damage of the capillary and venules. So, see, cyanosis is done, my dear friend. Bluish coloration. Petechial hemorrhages are done. C, P is done. Now, I am coming to C, that is congestion. Congestion of organs. Very, very important, sir. Congestion of organ. Like liver, lung, heart. And what is the mechanism of this? It is increased capillary permeability. So anyone who can tell me what are the three triad of asphyxial death? C, cyanosis, peripheral cyanosis. P, petechial hemorrhage because of capillary and venule damage. And another C, it is C, capillary permeability is increased. That is leading congestion of organ. This is classical triad. But sir, you can see other feature, right ventricular enlargement very, very important, my dear friend. Right ventricular enlargement. This is another very important, sir. And postmortem fluidity. Postmortem fluidity. These are five features of asphyxial death. Increase postmortem fluidity. So, what are these? CPC, C cyanosis, P petechial hemorrhage, C congestion. CPC then, right ventricular enlargement of heart and, sir, Increase postmortem fluidity. These all are, you can see, five signs of asphyxial death 
But what is a classical triad? That is CPC, cyanosis fatigue congestion. A classical triad is CPC. What is the meaning of asphyxia? Pulselessness. Now, sir, type of asphyxial death, if you want to go in detail, I can classify type of asphyxial death in four categories. The number one is hanging. The number one is hanging. Number two is strangulation. Number two is strangulation. Number three is suffocation. Number three is suffocation. And number four is drowning. These are four main types of asphyxial death. Hanging, strangulation, suffocation and drowning. Now I will come to dissection during asphyxial death. Now, so what technique we use for hanging and strangulation? This I already discussed in autopsy technique. It's a modified Y dissection. That is modified Y in season. It starts from the mastoid process that we do modified Y dissection. And observe, which is the last cavity to be opened? Which dissection should be done as a last? Doxab, the neck dissection, we start with cranium. The neck dissection should be done as a last. The reason is, the reason is why do we dissect neck as a last dissection? Because we want neck as a bloodless field. Very, very potential word, my dear friend. We want neck as a bloodless field. That's why we are, we are dissecting neck as a last organ. Now, Doxab, this is a very important word. Why do we dissect neck? as a last one because we want neck as a bloodless field we want to avoid one artifact we want to avoid one artifact this artifact is prince lu and golden artifact this is prince lu and golden artifact what is prince lu and golden artifact this is hemorrhage if we are not opening neck as a last cavity there will be hemorrhage in the neck in anterior aspect of the cervical spine, posterior to the trachea and esophagus. So there will be hemorrhage if you are not opening the neck as a last dissection. You can get a question to avoid which artifact, Prince Lou and Gordon artifact. Okay. Now, sir, what is tardive spot? Actually, sir, the most common site, the most common site of tardive spot is I. You can see the petechial hemorrhage. So, Rockstar, tardive spot are also known as Bayard spot. Very, very important word, my dear friend. First question, it is known as a Bayard spot. Second, sir, what is tardive spot? Tardive spot are petechial hemorrhage. These are petechial hemorrhage. These are seen on eye and these are also seen in visceral pleura. These are seen in visceral pleura. What are the other name? Bayer spot. These are petechial hemorrhage. These are seen in the eye and visceral pleura. This is because of acute rise in venous pressure. This is acute rise in the venous pressure that will lead rupture of the venule and capillary. What's the name of the spot? It is tardive spot. Tardive spot. What is the most common site? Eye. Tardine ke liye hum sabse zyada kya use karte? I. Tardine wala spot, tardy spot. Petechial hemorrhage. Acute rise in venous pressure. This is tardy spot. Now, sir, I am coming to the first method which is known as hanging. Hanging is most common type of asphyxial death. Hanging. Look, sir, what is hanging? As far as definition of hanging is concerned, it is suspension of body. It is suspension of body, which compression of the neck. Suspension of the body with compression of the neck. This is known as hanging. Ligature is encircling the neck. Ligature is encircling the neck. Constricting force. So what like you, you are your body suspended. Constricting force will be your body weight. Constricting force will be your body weight. This is hanging. And most common type of asphyxial death is hanging. It is suspension of the body with compression of the neck. Now, sir, if you see hanging types, 
मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ हैंगिंग इज सुसाइडल मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ हैंगिंग इज सुसाइडल एंड डॉक्टर इवन वन मोर क्वेश्चन कम्स इन एग्जाम विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन सुसाइड मैथड इन इंडिया विच इज मोस्ट कॉमन सुसाइड मैथड इन इंडिया द आंसर इज हैंगिंग बिकॉज इट्स अ इजी मैथड पेनलेस मैथड एंड द फैटल पीरियड फॉर हैंगिंग इज अराउंड थ्री टू फाइव मिनट्स सो इट्स अ मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ सुसाइड मैथड इन इंडिया दैट इज हैंगिंग एंड मोस्टली हैंगिंग इज सुसाइडल यू कमिट सुसाइड आपने फंदा लगाया लाइव यू आर सस्पेंडिंग द बॉडी दिस इज सुसाइडल होमिसाइडल हैंगिंग इज रेयर होमिसाइडल हैंगिंग इज रेयर बट वन मैथड ऑफ होमिसाइडल हैंगिंग इज लिंचिंग लिंचिंग like you have a group of people then you hang someone this is lynching it is common in north america north america so lynching agar aapko koi latka de this is homicidal but it is rare you need some people you need some group of person accidental hanging if you are hanged accidentally it is also not very common judicial hanging that is a method of death penalty in india judicial hanging is a method of death penalty in india so from this slide i can get one favorite mcq the most common type of hanging is suicidal and the most common suicide method in india that is hanging because it's easy one painless method